So guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be covering a brand new set of headphones. These are the Feeti Hi-Fi Dots. Really excited to try this out. I've reviewed a lot of their branded products in the past. I've had many of their headphones. I have a Bluetooth speaker from this brand that I use even till this day. Super excited to see how this sounds because I've been a huge fan of the active noise cancelling true wireless headphones. This comes in roughly around $200. Take a look at the description below. I also have a 20% discount code for you guys so you can get this cheaper than anyone else. And not only that, this also is complemented with its own dedicated app, which I'll showcase in this video to control some of the features that are with these headphones. So let's go ahead and start off with the unboxing and let's get straight into it. see there's a bit of an instruction there about how to take out and store the headphones from inside now this is a really nice design it's got this very glossy you can see shiny look and it's kind of an egg-shaped design it is actually pretty small fits very easily in the palm of your hands which means it will very easily fit in your pockets and your backpack before I dive in and look inside there let's see what else is in the box so you have this lime green USB-C charging cable, three pairs of additional earpieces of different sizes from small to large, quick set of instructions to download the app and the user manual. Okay, so let's take a look at the charging case in more detail. It has this kind of rose gold trim with the logo in the same color there, looks quite nice. So you press this little button and it pops open like this, very futuristic looking. Now you can see they've got their own little logo just on each of the earpieces. So to take these out, you actually have to push them to the left and to the right. You'll see the LED indicators will showcase the charging status and the pairing status as well. Let's go ahead and take this out. And actually you can see how compact that is. You've got the lime green interior inside the earpiece as well. So a very cool design. And we are going to be testing the comfortability of this. And one of the things that I also get asked when I test headphones like this, is, is there any noise leak? So we'll be testing some sample music and seeing if it can be picked up by my microphone with louder volumes. And to place them back into the charging case, there's a slot there where the bottom of the earpiece will fit into, like so. And then you just close the lid and they are charging. So here's a quick snapshot of the key features and specifications of these headphones. Now it does have a Qualcomm 3071 chipset which supports Snapdragon, it also comes with aptX, which gives you lossless sound quality, which is always important when you do have true wireless headphones like this. It comes with three audio modes, mild active noise cancellation, strong active noise cancellation, and transparency mode. Having those two different types of active noise cancellations, I think is very important. And this is the first time I've come across headphones that has this feature. It also has dual Bluetooth connections, so you can pair these to two devices at the exact same time. So if you want to connect it to your iPhone and your iPad, then you can very easily do that. And they are IPX7 water resistant, which means you can very easily use this in the gym when you are sweating. And when there's a bit of light rain when you're running outdoors, this would work absolutely fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and pair this with my phone for the very first time. So you will need to take both ear pieces out so that they can connect to each other. There we go. And you can see at the bottom of the list, hi-fi dots. And they are connected. Very quick and easy to do that. And before we go ahead and start using the headphones to see how they sound, let's take a look at some of the touch controls. So plenty of gestures here and they are touch capacitive earpieces. So if you double tap either the left and the right, you can answer and phone calls, play and pause your music. If you hold it down for one second, these are the different modes that you can go to. So mild or strong noise cancelling, and then go to transparency mode. If you tap the earpiece five times, this will turn on or off the low latency mode. Again, with the left piece, you can also single tap to turn the volume down, triple tap to go to the previous track. And with the right earpiece, tap it once to turn the volume up and triple tap to go to the next track. So very convenient set of features on the earpieces themselves to allow you to control it without the need of using your phone to do that. Okay, so let's take a look at connecting it to the VT app. So first of all, let's take out 
the earbuds from the case. So you can open the VT app. When you go to add device, go to pair will go to your Bluetooth settings. And then just make sure that you have connected it. So you can see hi-fi dots are connected. So you can close this, go back to the app, go to manual settings, and it will appear on the list. The first time you do it, just make sure your earbuds are charged fully. So when you press on that, you can see they are now connected. So when you go into here, multiple different options. So I'm gonna go ahead and play some music from Spotify whilst I show you these options. Okay, I've got some music playing in the background. I'll just put one earpiece on for now and I'll show you what happens with the second earpiece. But the ambient sound modes, of course, like I mentioned, you have transparency, mild noise reduction and strong noise reduction. I'm always a big fan of strong noise reduction. Earplug test is quite convenient. If you wanted to check to see if these fit you comfortably, then when you start the test, this will play some music and see if there's a little bit of noise leak, depending on the ambient noise in the background. And it will give you the results to see if it is actually a comfortable fit. Of course, make sure you have both ear pieces in. If not, it will tell you that you might need to update something. So you can see there in amber, just underneath each ear piece, it says twist or try out other sizes of earbuds. So that's quite convenient. Let's go back. You then have equalizer. When you go in here, you can make your adjustments as you wish. When you go to control, so from here, you can actually make the adjustments for the tapping to do different things. So for a single tap, for example, right now it adjusts the volume. If you go in there, you can actually make it to previous piece, volume up, next track. And for double tap, you have the option to let it go to Siri voice assistant, which is quite nice to have that feature as well. It's quite convenient. Triple tap, you can also change that to the volume if you want to. Then there's five tap. And then for holding it down one second, you can make adjustments for that. So customize it to however you feel fits your needs. Finally, at the bottom, we have lighting effect. These are the little LED lights that appear on the earpieces. So if I turn this on, you can switch between breathe, flash, and slow. So this is the breathe mode. You can see it's slowly pulsating. If I go to flash, this flash is quite fast. If I go to slow, it just flashes very slowly. So it's a nice little visual if you want to add that whilst music is playing, then you can actually have that lighting effect on the earpieces. So that's quite a nice feature to add into the app. Of course, you can see your battery life there as well, and it's just convenient to have that in place. When you go to settings, you have the option to update the firmware. So plenty of things you can do from the app when you do connect it. And I think that's really nice to have as a complementary to just the earpieces. Okay, so now that we've seen the app, let's go ahead and try these on and see how they sound. One of the first tests that I always do when I buy a new pair of headphones is to test how comfortable they are. And in fact, with this brand, all of the headphones that I've had in the past with them have been one of the most comfortable headphones I've used. And when I do my workouts in the gym, I have them on for quite a long time as well. They don't fall off, they take the sweat from my body quite well and they don't pop out very easily. So it does fit quite snug in my earpieces and if you are going to maybe travel long distance, maybe take this on a flight, one thing you want to make sure is that it doesn't start hurting after long periods of use. So I can see myself very easily wearing these headphones for many hours on end. So that's quite important when it comes to comfortability. So now let me go ahead and play some tracks from my Spotify. One of the questions I always tend to get is, do they have any noise leak? So if you do go on a train and you're commuting to work, for example, if you put the volume up a little bit, can the people next to you hear what you're listening to? So we'll test that out. And I'll have my shotgun microphone right next to me to see if you guys can hear some of the noise leak. But I'll try out the touch capacitive functions as well to see how easy it is to turn the active noise cancellation on and off and to just change track and change the volume. So let's go ahead and play something back now that it's connected. Okay, and one of the tests that I always do with the active noise cancellation is to see how much I can hear myself speaking. So right now, I'm going to just hold this down for one second. Okay, so this one is now the strong active noise cancellation and it is a little bit hard to hear myself speak, which is very convenient because when I wanna drown out a lot of the background ambient noise, especially when I'm in the gym and they're playing their own music, I don't wanna to listen to it, just wanna concentrate on my music and my workout. This is very useful. And it actually sounds pretty decent. 
I'll pause with a double tap. It's actually pretty responsive. Increase the volume, decrease the volume. Yeah, it takes less than a second for it to register and it actually works fine. It doesn't have any swiping gestures, so it is all tap on the earpieces. So let's see how the audio quality sounds. It's not too bad. It's actually pretty good. I've actually noticed like when you do turn on the strong active noise cancellation, it feels like the audio has been boosted a little bit, which means it's a lot clearer, much more easier to hear treble. The bass is slightly more punchier. Again, that may be because it's just drowning out more of the background and ambient noises, but the quality on the audio, I've always been a big fan of and having that in combination with the long battery life, the fast charging on this, and also just the comfortability of it. I think, you know, this is kind of like an all round package and I can see why it's a $200 premium set of headphones. So I can't find really any faults with this. I'm super impressed as always. Design wise, you can see how nice they look. But now what I'm going to do in terms of the noise leak, I'm going to just go a little bit closer to my shotgun mic and see if you guys can hear the music coming through. This is about 90% volume, so it is pretty loud for me. What do you guys reckon? I think, you know, for me personally, I wouldn't have to worry about going that high in the volume settings, so I can keep it around 70%, turn on strong ANC, and I'm pretty confident nobody will be able to hear that, and I can still hear everything that I'm listening to. One thing that I may also use this is to connect it to my MacBook and then use it to, you know, watch my content, Netflix, etc. I think it would be really useful to have this with your streaming because you may want to watch a movie, for example, and you can just have it on for long periods of time. So it's not necessarily just for music, it's pretty much multi-purpose. So hopefully, you know, you found that useful. The Hi-Fi Dots, you know, quite a nice name, very nice design, I have to say, probably one of the nicest designs. It looks so much better than just my typical AirPods Pro. And yeah, if you're looking on the market for buying a new set of true wireless headphones that pretty much do everything you need, then definitely check out this. I've got the link in the description. I've got a 20% discount code for you guys so you can get it cheaper. And if you have any questions as always, make sure to drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. New videos out every week. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss those ones. And I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.